round 18 of the All Flag State Premier League saw Sterling Lions play host to a relegation threatened ECU Joondal up at Macedonia Park. With only two wins on the road and Sterling having won only three times at home, it was a game that could go either way. Joondal up soon lost possession and a long ball up the park released Anthony Lyons for Sterling, but the ball just wouldn't drop to allow him to shoot and Joondal up scrambled it clear. Sterling captain Andy Brown received the ball from Gareth McGlynn and then with the sway of his hips sent the Joondal up defence the wrong way. He cut infield and continued his run looking for the return pass, but Scott Blackmore was alert to the danger and cleared. It wasn't long before Joondalup skipper John Higgins was trying to create for them at the other end of the park. Receiving the ball from Rob Drapex, he looked to line up a shot but was caught by Michael Pugliese. Higgins hit the free kick but his weak effort was easily saved by Corey Hugo. Hugo was forced into a sharper save not long after. Mike Adamsevitz pounced on the loose ball in the centre of the park. He held up the ball well as Joondalup surged forward. He then fed Higgins who tried his luck from long range but Hugo beat his effort away. The start of the second half saw Sterling catch Joondalup on the break. Clayton Arnaz picked up the ball in defence, looked up and picked out the run of Anthony Lyons who cut inside Quincroft with ease but was unable to curl his effort inside the far post. It was Lyons who lost possession for Sterling and allowed Timmins to launch a counter-attack down the left. He skipped past Pugliese with ease and then crossed to the back post where David Foster's downward header hit a well-placed Hugo and Joondalup were unlucky not to open the scoring. It was end-to-end -end stuff and as Sterling looked to have wasted a corner, Adam Lucas showed good awareness to pick out Hayden Barnett on the left. He then played the ball infield back to Luca. But unfortunately for Sterling, his shot lacked any power and was easily collected by Andy Banks. Sterling were beginning to get on top and when Andy Brown just couldn't reach McGlynn's cross into the box, the ball fell to Jamie Tandy in space, who tried his luck and Quincroft was fortunate to see his deflection sail wide with Banks scrambling. Soon after, poor communication between Pugliese and Barnett saw Joondalup's Tommy Amphlett with the ball in the Sterling penalty area but he delayed his pass too long and lost possession to Pugliese, who calmly picked out Arnez in midfield. His ball over the top played in lines and put him one-on-one -on -one with the keeper, but Banks saved with his legs. A comedy of errors close to halfway saw Timmins claim possession for Joondalup. He in turn found Amphlett, who did well to avoid Barnett's lunging challenge but with Foster outside him in a better position, he tried a shot himself, which bobbled just the wrong side of the post for the Joondalup fans. With the clock ticking down, Blackmore headed clear for Joondalup, with O'Callaghan lurking. Sterling picked up the loose ball in midfield, and Phil Acamo wide on the left played it infield to McGlynn. He in turn played it to the feet of the substitute Phil O'Callaghan, who turned Quincroft and shot, but his effort went over the crossbar. In the dying seconds, Amphlett found space down the left and cut inside Barnett. He looked to pick out Italiano at the back post, but Phil Ocamo watched the ball and headed clear. And with that opportunity went the chance for either side to claim all three points. Uh, well, result, a result, I guess a, a draw is better than a loss. So how are you feeling after that game? Uh, very disappointed that we didn't get three points. Um, because, like, you know, it's very important that we win all our games to try and have a chance of making the top five. Um, but we tried ever so hard and tactically we tried different things. The formation changed three times overall during the game to try and get a goal. But, you know, I think you've got to give Junal up a bit of credit as well. They were very happy with the points and, to be fair, they probably worked hard enough to deserve a point. Um, but I'm disappointed, you know, it's two points lost for us. Um, good efforts, happy we kept a clean sheet, but very disappointed we didn't win the game.